earlier this week, you saw a very quick and dirty version of what my family and Dutt and I do when we do a bug out drill. Now, we're actually going to show you what is in our vehicle during a bug out. So stick with me. So we're here and this is the contents of our bug out vehicle. Now we have a compact car. We don't have a lot of room for everything. We're here with Outdoor Mama. She's gonna be helping me out. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is there a cover over absolutely everything. We do that for security reasons. Uh, some minor OPSEC. Obviously to be able to tell there's something in there but if we can keep people from knowing exactly what's in the car, that's a good thing. So she's gonna go ahead and uncover this for me. We're going to be going over the contents that we keep in the trunk or for you british the boot so first in total we have four water bricks they hold three and a half gallons of water those water bricks are sized appropriately to be stackable and manageable we have one water brick essentially per person if we have a vehicle bug out while we're going to our physical location Next, we have two cases of MREs, which was a total of 24 MREs. We do have supplies at our bug out location, but this is to help us get there if we have to take a little bit longer and have some extra prep supplies for us. We've got our two bug out bags. This is Outdoor Mama's bug out bag. This is my bug out bag. And Outdoor Mama is going to move my bug out bag and we'll show you some of the contents underneath. Now, right over here, we've got two gas cans. Now, these are only two two gallon gas cans because we want to divide and conquer. If we need to do any gas siphoning in an emergency or have extra gas with us, we have these gas cans and they are manageable to be carried. If we need to get extra gas, we're good to go. Underneath my gas cans is something pretty interesting. This is a homemade breaching tool. Uh, we took this from a demolition drywall hammer and turned this into a breaching tool if we need to get into a location that is secured for safety reasons. All right, now while Outdoor Mama is putting the cover back on over our stuff underneath there, I do want to make mention that we do have a tire repair kit. We do have a full size spare tire underneath the trunk and we do have the basics there. All right, now moving on to the back seat, we have our roadside assistance kit. This is a custom kit that we built for our situation. It just works for us like between road flares, emergency lights, cones, um, jumper cables, all that good stuff. We keep it in the back seat instead of the trunk in a bug out situation. Also, we have both my kids bug out bags. They have some spare water and their personal tent that they would be sleeping in. Now in our bug out kits, we do have personal protection items. We also have hunting equipment, we have trapping equipment, and we also have our personal um, shelter building kits inside that as well. All right, now we are moving to the front side passenger seat. In a bug out situation, I would actually be in the front side passenger position due to the fact that I am a better navigator. Uh, we have our maps, a first aid kit, and everything else in the glove box, as well as a siphoning kit. We'll kind of show you that, some of the contents in there. We do have all of those goodies in here. In the side door, we have my mini Prang that is right here. I want it easily, readily available. We have my leather and multi-tool, but also right here, we have another spare Silcock key. Silcock keys are awesome. We are in the middle of San Antonio, so until we get to a more remote location, we want to make sure we have all the tools we need at the ready. All right, now we are on the driver's side front section, and in the middle console, there are some personal protection goodies in there, along with some stuff we would have us on our EDC. Now, in the right-hand side door, we have an extra pair of mechanics gloves size to Outdoor Mama. And right here, we have the Bushman Bowie, and she loves that knife because it gives her a full seven-inch blade that also can be doubled as a hunting implement, but she loves it the most because it's nice and lightweight. So all in all, we have a spare tire, we have a vehicle roadside kit, we have all of our bug out bags, we showed you some of the stuff, there's a few things you're just not going to see, but I hope that gives you a taste of what can you, you can put into a compact or subcompact car in a bug out situation. We also have our pre-sale running for our Drop Forge Survival t-shirts going on right now on my Etsy page, definitely check out the description box below so you can go sign up for that. 
And by picking up those shirts, you'll be able to rock some awesome Drop Forth Survival swag as well as support our channel financially. As always, we value your thoughts, opinions, and comments. So definitely drop down in the comment section below. Leave your feedback of what you think of our bug out plan, our kits, and definitely go check out our bug out mock-up that we just did a couple days ago where we actually run through our bug out drills. But as always, if you enjoyed this video and the contents of our bug out vehicle, definitely throw a big thumbs up to this video. But that just about does it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.